What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today is a quick video on a fuel system for an LS swapped vehicle. So if you're new to the channel, right behind me I have my 91 Toyota MR2 with a LS swapped into it. So currently we're working on the fuel system. Let me break down the parts, system, the parts list for you. So everything you see here, I'll have a link in the description below, is everything you're going to need to put this system together. Got our Dash 6 AN line. We have all of the fuel fittings, push connect fittings, and the most importantly, if you're new to this or planning a fuel system swap, is a Corvette style fuel filter. Alright, first things first, you're going to need this. This is a fuel filter for a Corvette, so a C6 and up vehicle. So what makes this easy and beneficial to use is it has a permanent feed line to your engine which is here. Now this is a part that I've added to this, it's a quick connect so it goes directly to a dash AN6 goes to the motor on the other side it's even labeled for us here you can see we have push connect fittings on this side the feed line is a 3 8 inch line and the return line is a 5 16 so you buy a push connect fitting or quick release fitting for each of those and you're good to go this one goes to your motor you have the feed and the return from your fuel system Lastly, this is what you're going to need. This is another push connect or quick release fuel fitting. This is another AN6 line. This will go directly to the LS fuel rail. It snaps right onto that line and feeds the fuel rails. Now, depending on what you're swapping your LS into, you're going to need the appropriate amount of AN hose. This is a dash six hose. I got the nylon wrap stuff as well as an assortment of fittings. So get you anywhere you need to go within the car. All right, this is the fuel pump setup for my 91 Toyota MR2, which had to be modified. This now has the GM higher flowing fuel pump inside of it, which has just been slightly modified and put in there with some hose clamps, fuel sock on the bottom. What I did have to change, because this is from my little four cylinder engine, is the feed line, which is I had to replace this to a 3 8 inch line feed. The old feed was this line, which was a 5 16th, which we'll now be using for the return line. On the other end of this, I have two compression fittings, both leading to AN6 lines. So now we're going to make up our fuel fittings. Alright, so I've reinstalled the gas tank. Those are my two compression fit fittings for the feed and the return line. They're turning off to the left here where I have that fuel filter slash regulator. So I've already made my measurements between the top two, so we're going to go over and cut them now. Alright, now it's time to put these fittings together so you can see I did the usual cut it through your tape trick. Pull your tape off, just push the sleeve on until it bottoms out. Looks like I got it. I can start threading this by hand now. I've already oiled these up so it'll go in a little easier. I'll hand tighten this until it gets to be too difficult which is where you can do one of two things you get out your aluminum pliers or wrenches or you use your vise if you have the proper aluminum draws if you're like me I rarely do this I'm just going to wrap it in masking tape on both ends it does just take a little bit more time Now that we've wrapped them up, we'll tighten this up in here. We'll just run it home.
All right, that's that. Now I can take off the tape and do the other side. I don't know if we can see it back there, but everything's plumbed up. Goes to the fuel rail. It did interfere with the coil packs. This is the coil packs from the truck, so I'm just going to have to modify that. You can see the fuel pump back there, wired around, and comes right back up to the fuel rail. We'll go inside and take a look from the other side now. All right, there are my feed and return lines plumbed into the gas tank. There it is in the back here. There is the fuel filter plumbed up and heading to the fuel rail. Alright, so that's another project checked off the list. So once again, thank you for watching. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. See you next time.